Hello Year 9, um, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Mr Gambrell and today I'm going to just talk you through the OCR sport course we offer here at Folkestone Academy. Um, before I go through the makeup of the course, I would like to highlight that um, you do not have to be the world's greatest athlete in order to take this course. Um, however, what we do ask is that you do have a keen interest in learning about sport. This is because um, there is a lot more to sport than just being able to play it. It takes a wide variety of people and roles to make sport a club, a individual um, or team successful. Okay, and we are going to look at um, how that happens. So um, how the course is made up then, this is across four different units, um, sport in the media, leadership in sport, developing sport skills and contemporary issues in sport. Now sport in the media, leadership in sport and developing sport skills are all um, coursework led units and contemporary issues in sport is an exam. Now um, sport in the media is essentially um, five different LOs which are all written documents. Leadership in sport is five LOs. Developing sports skills is four LOs which also involves some practical just like leadership in sport unit and contemporary issues in sport is split up into um, four different LOs and today I'm just going to talk you through each of those LOs. Um, before that just want to highlight the fact that all of the four units are out of 60 points which are then added up and that is then converted into a grade. Um, the grades are level one pass, level one merit, level one distinction, level two pass, level two merit, level two distinction and level two distinction start. Now if you would like to do anything involved with sport after year 11 you need to be aiming for at least a level two merit. So for example, in order to um, enroll on the um, sick form BTEC course we offer here at Folkestone Academy, we do um, ask for a level two merit. Um, so the sport and the media unit is split up into five different LOs. The first of these is um, you are going to be required to write about the different media platforms there are, such as TV, written press, radio and internet, and what they do for sport, and the differences between each of the platforms. LO 2 and 3, you're going to look at the positives and the negatives of media and sport. LO 4, which is the hardest of the five LOs in my opinion, um, you will look at the relationship between media and sport. And LO5, you will um, compare two articles about the same event. So, for example, you may look at a football match and you'll compare an, a report from a newspaper and a report from a website. So there's two different platforms there and you'll compare and contrast how they are written. Just looking at some example work for this unit. Um, so here you can see some of some work from um, LO two, three, and four. Um, just look at the levels of detail here. We do ask for around about two hundred words a paragraph on here. Um, now that's the sort of detail that which we're looking for. Uh, moving on to the developing sports skills unit. This is split up into four different LOs but it does involve quite a lot of practical. So LO1, 2 and 3 are all practical units, or all practical tasks, sorry. Um, LO1 will look at an individual sport such as tennis or badminton. LO2 will look at a team sport such as um, football, cricket, rugby or hockey. Uh, LO3 you will be required to officiate, so um, be the referee or umpire in a sporting activity. And LO4, you will um, reflect on, um, essentially summarise how you've done in those practical tasks, such as highlighting different skills, whether those skills are strengths or weaknesses, and then finding drills which target those weaknesses which you've highlighted. And you'll also look at something called um, performance monitoring as well. So here are some examples from um, LO1 two and four it looks like um, so you can see the um, they are talking about different skills here um, in netball and 
basketball um, and they are talking about whether the skill is open, closed, simple or complex and um, whether it is a strength or weakness. Now on this particular document if you were to scroll down you may see them um, finding drills to target their weaknesses okay which you will have to research. So sport and leadership then again this unit does involve a little bit of practical LO1, you will be required to write about different sports leaders, which we will um, we will give you, and talk about their um, their roles, responsibilities, and the qualities they have, and the differences between each of the the um, sports leaders. LO2, you will have to do a session plan of your choosing, which you will then lead to a group of students. So it's important to think about what are your strengths, what activities would you um, feel confident in leading to a group of people and which activities would actually be effective. Now, um, LO4, you'll have to evaluate how effective that session was um, and talk about the strengths, the areas for improvement from the session and essentially summarise how it all went. Here are some example work for that unit. Looking on the far left hand side, you can see the, they are talking about different sports leaders um, and their roles, their qualities and responsibilities. Um, and again, here you can see the sort of detail which we are looking for. Um, and on the right hand side, you can see them talking about their session plan. So what they, they, they led to their group of students and um, their risk assessment as well. The Contemporary Issues in Sport unit then, which is the exam unit, um, you will sit this exam twice, which is likely to be once in year 10 and once in year 11, and you will always keep your best grade. So for example, if you take the exam first time round and achieve a level one merit, and you then take the exam again in year 11 and achieve a level two pass, you will keep the level two pass, and the level one merit will be discarded. Okay, just like if you've done better first time round, the grade second time round will be discarded. This unit is split up into four different LOs, and the first LO which we'll be learning about is all about user groups, factors which affect participation, and the barriers specific to the user groups. So for example, a barrier to a child or a teenager maybe lack of income, yet a barrier to a disabled person, maybe um, lack of role models or lack of um, provision, which is essentially what's provided, supplied or arranged in the local area. LO, um, sorry, finishing off LO1, you will look at um, the solutions to these barriers, which are um, provision, promotion and access. Uh, LO2 then, you'll start to look at the values of sport, specifically um, the Olympic and Paralympic values and the aims of the games. You'll also look at um, sportsmanship and gamesmanship and the difference between the two, how they are implemented in elite sport and amateur sport and how um, the values of sport are evident throughout um, elite sport and amateur sport. LO2 then you'll start to look at um, drugs in sport and examples of drug users in sport. Um, down the bottom you can see three pictures, um, the first of which is Dwayne Chambers who was an Olympic sprinter for Team GB. The middle picture is Lance Armstrong who was a cyclist and the final one who you may recognise is Rio Ferdinand who is an ex-professional footballer and he failed to attend a drugs test. Um, for this part of the, the unit, you will look at how athletes are, um, are sampled for drugs um, across um, blood, urine, hair and nails. And you will look at the impacts of um, being a drug user in sport and why an athlete decides to become a drug user in sport. Um, LO3 then, you will um, look at major sporting events, which is split into three main areas, which are one-off regular and regular and reoccurring and as you can see from looking at the table um, there are different examples for those three categories okay and we'll look at the difference in the three categories and why the examples fit into those 
You'll also look at the benefits and drawbacks of hosting a major sporting event and um, what they what that may mean for the nation um, that hosts the major sporting event. You will also look at the three target legacies, which are social, economic and sporting. And again, what each of these mean when hosting a major sporting event. Um, the final LO, which you will look at, is all about national governing bodies. Now, if you haven't heard of this before, these are essentially put in place to help sport happen, both at elite level and um, amateur level as well. And in order to help sport happen, there are six roles put in place. And not only are these relevant to um, national governing bodies such as the FA, the Football Association, they are relevant to all um, national governing bodies such as the ECB, England Cricket Board, British Cycling, UK Sport. Um, and I'm sure you can think of your own examples as well. Now, there are four different roles, which are promotion, development, infrastructure, policies and initiatives, funding and support. And we are going to look at how each of these roles are um, achieved by national governing bodies and how that helps um, sport happen at elite level and amateur level. So I'm just going to scroll back to um, this slide here. Um, when you are picking um, your options, it's important to think about um, your strengths and your weaknesses and what you um, think you may be interested in in terms of um, your learning. And looking at these four units, which I've described to you here, whether you think these are of interest to you, whether you'd like learning about them and whether the tasks which, in, which are involved on in each of these four units lend to your strengths. Um, and whether you think that you can achieve a good grade for this course from. Um, thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions about this course or anything I've spoken about today, please come and find me or um, anyone else in the P department and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much and we look forward to working with you next year.